Hey everybody, welcome back. My name is Zach Hampson and today I'm going to do something a little bit different, something that uh, I haven't really uh, shown you guys that I've done this before sort of thing. It's a really fun, really relaxing sort of exercise or just fun sort of painting uh, method that you can use for yourself and uh, I'll get into the particulars of why I think everybody should do it. So, and that is what I'm talking about today is uh, painting in your sketchbook, like you can see in the video behind you. So this is the two paintings that I'm ending up painting today. You can see the sketchbook isn't much bigger than my hand, right? And, but that might just be a fact of me being a pretty big dude. <laughs> so don't count that too much. But it is rather a smaller size sketchbook and uh, that's neither here nor there. Choose whichever one works for you. If you if you want a bigger sketchbook, grab a bigger sketchbook. But the sketchbook I'm using today is a Strathmore drawing sketchbook. It's uh, I think it's like 180 GSM weighted paper. It's a really, really good sketchbook that I've used in the past to paint in and draw on before. And I really, really like their paper. I really appreciate their paper because when I'm applying the acrylic gesso, which is what you need to paint in a sketchbook, please do not just start painting in the sketchbook on top of the paper with oil paints it's not going to end up well man it's really not going to end up well the paper is just going to start absorbing absorbing the oil paints and it's going to be it's going to be a mess right grab some acrylic primer gesso doesn't matter whichever brand you use choose a particularly good brand obviously acrylic primer gesso layer on two or three coats sand in between each coat and you're good to go good to rock and roll with uh, some oil painting in the sketchbook bro but as you do it make sure you can see how i've got my papers clipped top bottom each side uh make sure you do that so it doesn't buckle too much and uh so that when it dries uh that holds it in place and it doesn't uh warp on you too much so do those uh, couple of steps and you're good to rock and roll with uh, with the painting so the reason why you would want to paint a new sketchbook at all is simply because I get a lot of people saying oh, I don't I feel like I can't ruin this canvas I feel like I'm uh, this canvas is like too expensive or or this is too precious you know I don't want to waste my materials you know it's just a fun inexpensive place that you can paint right it's just a fun inexpensive place that you can rock and roll and you can just try out things and mix things and play around with things and feel like you're not really bound to anything right for me particularly, I, I like painting in the sketchbook because it's a place I can have a lot of fun with because I'm not thinking about the particulars of how it's going to look on a wall, is this suitable for a gallery, how am I going to frame it, uh, if it's a client commissioning, I'm not thinking about what they like, what they want sort of thing at all. It's just a fun place that I can just mix, match and have fun with uh, trying out poses, trying out different light sources trying out different uh, reference photos and stuff. Uh, it's just a really fun and enjoyable place that you can come to and not have to worry about anything. It's, it's just, it's really fun to do that, to be able to paint and not have to worry about things. People that are hobbyists, uh, you know, don't worry about this, but uh, I'm talking from like a person that uh, sort of lives off this sort of thing. So you might not feel this anyways, so, but, but even if you do have that sort of fear about approaching the canvas, you don't want to ruin a canvas, if it's too expensive, this is a great place to go because it's, it's relatively inexpensive. All you need is like the sketchbook and some gesso and obviously your oil paints that you already have and your paintbrushes, which you already have. Presumably, that's why you're watching this video. <laughs> and uh, you're good to go. You're good to rock and roll. It's, it's a fun process. And uh, I chose to do two paintings, particularly just because I had two reference photos that I thought, oh, these look, cool, look kind of cool. I'll uh, try these out, see how they kind of rock. And uh, I've been, if anybody's interested, I've been kind of accumulating a bunch of interesting reference photos that I think would work as good paintings, uh, given uh, a fair bit of tweaking and, and like changing of things and, and colors and compositions and stuff like that. Uh, and I've accumulated them on like a Pinterest page, right? There's like 300 and something of them. Uh, I can link that down below if people are interested. If people don't know what to paint, where to start painting, just have a scroll through that, pick one, start painting, right? Just have a crack at it. I'll, I'll link that down below so you guys, you know, if you don't know what to paint, you just kind of stump for ideas. It's a great place to sort of go, pick up something, be like, all right, let's rock this. And it's especially because we're in the sketchbook, 
doesn't really matter like if we're if we're messing up a canvas if we're messing up something like that it's not a big deal because it's just paper you know if we mess it up scrape it back and gesso it over again same same way we do with panels same way we do with canvases right if we mess it up scrape it back and uh gesso it over again or start painting something on top of that again depends what you want to do right uh, same thing or you can tear out the page and pretend it never existed right <laughs> that's the great thing about a notebook or about a uh, sketchbook so I keep calling it a notebook uh, because I've been journaling a lot lately but uh, sketchbook sketchbook <laughs> don't do it in no no paper books uh, those papers probably aren't that great for this sort of stuff and so you can see the way that I'm painting up this is just uh, I'm approaching it how I normally would, right? I'm trying out like the, the darker sort of values and, and working my way through the midtones of that and then finally leading myself over to the uh, highlights, right? Over to the brightest brights and, and et cetera, stuff like that. And uh, so there's not much difference in my working method here. Although the great thing about sketchbook is that, you know, I could try out a different working method. I could try out whole bunch of different things in the sketchbook so uh, that's why i wanted to bring it to you guys is because it's such a fun thing that you can just that is, it's endless you can do anything with it right <laughs> I've, I've always used these sketchbooks for like charcoal drawing stuff like that not necessarily like like lead lead pencil drawing type of sort of thing right because i've i've drawn with charcoal more than i've drawn with the regular sort of pencils and so when it comes back to regular pencils i'm kind of like oh this isn't this isn't going the way I want it to. This isn't moving the way I want it to because I'm so used to charcoal pencils, right? Uh, so that's, I might be trying to use the sketchbook for that, but uh, we'll see how that goes. I'll probably just use charcoal drawings for the rest of this sketchbook. But my idea for this sketchbook before this video ends and stuff like that is that there's 160 pages in this sketchbook. I don't know if that includes like the accounts each side or is that just individual papers? But I want to, before the end of the year, just just fill it up, just finish the finish the sketchbook off. Whether it be more paintings like this, or whether it be uh, more charcoal drawings and stuff like that, and uh, shoot a couple more of these types of videos for you guys, and uh, just talk about the process, talk about what I'm thinking about, sort of stuff like that. Uh, shoot the shit, so to say, <laughs> with, with these sort of sketchbook type of videos, right? Because they're not that uh, they're not that sort of like. Uh, detrimental if, if something goes wrong etc etc you know it's just a fun thing to sort of talk about right and so before the year's out I just wanted to finish and fill up this sort of sketchbook and uh, I just thought it'd be a fun thing to sort of present to you guys and at the end of it might just do a whole sketchbook tour right where I talk about um, all the sketchbooks and paintings that all the sketches and paintings that you haven't seen yet and so you can see some of the uh, the finished images of these paintings my memory card ran out of uh, memory <laughs> funnily enough before I was able to show you how I just finished these off but I didn't do too much more just kind of more refinement sort of things and you can see just how loose and how like I wasn't really, you know, I'm just, I'm just playing with it, right? I'm just playing with it. Don't take yourself too seriously in a sketchbook, right? It's just fun. It's fun, you know? Nobody has to see these things. I'm just bringing it to you guys so you guys know that this is a place where you can have fun and enjoy and relax with the sketchbook. And so I wanted to bring that to you guys today so you can see the, the things you can do with your sketchbook. Aside from just drawing in them and stuff like that, you can also paint in them if you didn't know that already. <laughs> so, acrylic primer gesso, a couple of coats, sanding in between, and you're good to go to oil paint on top of these uh, pieces of paper. And it's just a fun, enjoyable process to do. And if you guys do it, hit me up. I'd love to see it. I'd love to see what you guys are working, rocking on. And uh, I'll link the uh, reference photos I've accumulated down in the comments below, as well as linking what sort of sketchbooks these are as well. So if you're new here and you're not subscribed, hit subscribe, uh, hit the bell so you get notified every time I upload and uh, leave a comment down below. And I'd love to get back to you, read it. And if you do a sketchbook thing, shoot it to me. I'd love to see it. Until next video, I'll catch you guys.